Let's take a look at density. Now, all of these questions are calculator questions if you want to use one, which is good news. So, in each of the sets below, two of mass, density, and volume are provided. Find the value of the third. Now, the most important thing is to remember that density is mass over volume, and we can flip the D and the V around. So, volume is mass divided by density. And if density is mass divided by volume, then density multiplied by the volume equals the mass. So here we've got the mass and we have the, um, the volume. So we want to work out the density. So density is the mass divided by the volume, which is one divided by one. So that is one gram per cubic centimeter. Here we have, um, we've got the volume and we've got the density. So the mass, is going to be the density times the volume. And one times one is one, so the mass is going to be one gram. Here we've got the mass and we've got the density, so we want the volume. The volume is the mass divided by the density, which is one divided by one, which is one cubic centimeter. Here we've got mass and we've got density, so the volume is mass divided by density again. So it's a mass of one kilo divided by 1,000. And one divided by 1,000 is 0 0.001. Um, and that is uh, cubic meters. So here we've got a density. Here we've got a volume, so we want the mass. So density times the volume is the mass. And so it's going to be 5 times by 150, so that's going to be 750 grams. Again, let's just refresh our knowledge of the formulae. So density is mass over volume. Swap the D and the V, so V equals M over D. And density times volume equals mass. So here we've got a mass, we've got a volume, so we want the density. Density is the mass divided by the volume. And that works out as 0 0.5 grams per cubic centimetre. Here we've got a mass. Here we've got the density. So the volume is the mass divided by the density. So that's 5040 divided by 21. And that comes to a total of 240. And that's going to be cubic centimetres. Here we've got a mass. Here we've got a volume. So we want density. So density is the mass divided by the volume. 756 divided by 252 is 3, so that's 3, and that's grams per cubic centimetre. Here we've got a density, here we've got a volume, so we want the mass, so the mass is the density times the volume, 0 0.00125 multiplied by 100,000 is 125, so that is grams. Here we've got a mass, this is a volume, so we want the density, density is this number here, the mass divided by that horrible number there, and that results in an even more horrible number, 16777216. So 16,777,216, and that is kilos per cubic meter. Question number two. So Laura has different volumes of different liquids as follows, water, honey, oil, and hand soap. So we know that the water has a, a weight of, or it's got a mass of 500, and it's got a volume of 500, so the density is the mass divided by the volume. So that's 500 divided by 500, so that's one gram per cubic centimeter. The density of the oil is just 625 divided by 500, and 65 divided by 500 is 1.25 grams per cubic centimeter. The honey is 375 divided by 125, so that is going to work out as 3 grams per cubic centimetre. Notice how we're speeding through them now, but the first one made us think a little bit. Now we've got the formula sorted out, we're flying. So the hand soap is 300, so it's going to be uh, 300 divided by 250, and that is 1.2 grams per cubic centimetre. Question number three. Emily has three different weights and needs to find their mass. So 
the first weight is made of iron, it's got a density of that and a volume of that. So density is the mass divided by volume. So density times the volume is the mass. So it's eight times by 7.9, and that is 63.2 grams. So all we're doing is repeating this process, 2.7 multiplied by um, 64, that comes to 172.8 grams. 11.3 multiplied by 27, that comes to 305.1 grams. Emily finds two other weights, this time made of different stones. One is made of sandstone, which has got a density of that and a volume of that. So already I'm thinking we've got the density, we've got the volume, let's work out the mass. So the mass is going to be 2.2 multiplied by 216 and that comes to 475.2 and the other one's made of diorite which is a density of 3 and a volume of 125 so let's multiply these together so that we can work out the mass um, which is 375 so which one has got the greatest mass that is clearly the sandstone question number four so David needs to know volume when he's got the mass and the density. So remember, density is mass divided by volume. We can flip the D and the V. V equals uh, mass divided by the density. So uh, A and B, A first of all, the mass divided by the density is 200 divided by one. So A is going to be uh, 200 cubic centimeters and B is going to be uh, 1320 divided by 1.1 and that is 1200 cubic centimeters. David has got two of C, so therefore he's got uh, 1600 grams of C. So what is the volume of two of C? Well, that's going to be, we need to work out the volume. So the density remains the same. So it's gonna be 1600 divided by the density, which is 1.6 and 1600 divided by 1.6 is 1,000 1, cubic centimetres. So which is larger, D or E, and by how much? So again, we're just going to divide the uh, mass by the density. 10,201 divided by 1.01, .01, that is 10100. And we'll do the same for E, and that works out as 8,000. So which is larger, or well, D is larger, and if we subtract 8,000 from 10,100, uh, we get a difference of 2,100 and its cubic centimeters. Question number five. So again, let's just familiarize ourselves with the formula. Density is the mass divided by volume. So the density of the Tayata Riva is going to be 2,000 divided by eight. And 2,000 divided by eight is 250 kilos per cubic meter. So is the Volvo bus the densest vehicle? Well, let's work out its density. And that's density. Its density is gonna be 5,000 divided by 25. And that works out as 200 kilos per cubic meter. And the, the <laughs> I'm not sure what uh, the pronunciation of this car is, the, the Fait or the Fe, <laughs> 220 is gonna be 1,200 divided by four, and that is 300 kilos per cubic meter. So is the Volvo bus the, the most dense vehicle? Uh, no, it's actually the least dense. So the answer there is simply no. Uh, the Scotia Nova weighs 2,500 kilos and is 6.25 cubic meters. So let's work out its density so that we can work out how it compares to the others. So its density is going to be 2,500 divided by 6.25, and that works out as 400. So it's denser than all of them. Question number six, I believe this is the final question. So we want to calculate the density of every cube if they all weigh this amount. So all we have here is, we know they're cubes, we've got the side length, so let's work out the volume. The volume of the lead is one times one times one, so that is gonna be one cubic centimeter. Aluminium is gonna be eight times eight times eight, which is 512. 
iron four times four times four which is 64 and three times three times three which is 27 so we've worked out the volumes so density is the mass divided by the volume so what we need to do is 13824 divided by 1 so lead is going to have a density of 13824 grams per cubic centimeter aluminium is going to be 13824 divided by 512 which is 27 Iron is going to be the same but just divided by 64 and that comes to 216 grams per cubic centimetre and finally the gold we're just going to be dividing by 27 and that comes to 512 grams per cubic centimetre. Uh, suppose instead the lead cube and aluminium cube weigh a combined 5130 grams what is their combined density? Well, first of all, let's work out their combined volume. So their combined volume is going to be 1 plus 512 cubic centimetres. That's 513 cubic centimetres. And so the density is the mass divided by the volume. So 5130 divided by 513. And that works out to a quite neat 10 grams per cubic centimetre.